A tri-state family has no air conditioning tonight and their house is 89 degrees. Well, I'm on your side getting them some help. And I have a warning for anyone with an older central air conditioning system. Willie Wilson's house is hot. This is a the thermostat at 89 degrees right now. 89 degrees and getting warmer, all because his central air has been out all week. Here it is, Madison plays home. It started when he called an AC repairman to clean the coil on his unit because it was full of leaves and grass and getting old. This is about 22 years old. But he says, Well, he came over to clean the, the, the clean air condition, and instead of doing that, he decided to check the Freon. Turns out trying to open its 22-year-old fittings was not the best idea. When he turned, it broke, mm -hmm. and all the Freon came out. The contractor said it wasn't his fault, blaming the unit's age. There's a lesson here for anyone with an aging air conditioning system. AC experts tell us the average lifespan of these units is about 20 years. Once it's almost that age, think hard before letting anyone open up the system to expose the coolant. The Consumer Guide Angie's List says with an older system, if it blows cold and there's no frost forming on the lines, you can usually skip a coolant check. But have the system checked and cooling fins cleaned once a year. We called the AC company, which apologized for breaking the line and promised to bring a new part and new Freon in the next 24 hours. Till then, Wilson remains very hot. Hot in many ways. Yeah, I bet he is. Now, this does appear to be an honest mistake, not somebody trying to rip off a tri-state homeowner. And that's why we're not naming the AC company at this point as long as they fix his system in the next 24 hours. One more lesson here. Check out a heating and cooling company with the Better Business Bureau before you hire them so you don't waste your money. Julian Craig.